Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they tell us that a bush baby is an African primate and it's capable of a really big vertical leap. They tell us that it goes into a crouch and extends its, its legs, pushing upwards for a distance of 0.16 meters. After that initial upward acceleration, they say that it leaves the ground and travels up for 2.3 meters. And they want us to find the acceleration during the pushing off phase. Give your answer in meters per second squared and in Gs. This problem's a two-step problem. So to draw a picture first to conceptualize what we're doing, this is the total vertical leap. So initially they say though that it pushes off for 0.16 meters. And then they say after this upward acceleration, it leaves the ground and travels up upward for 2.3 meters. To figure out the acceleration for the pushing off phase, let's make a list of the known variables. The initial velocity, we don't know what that is. The acceleration is what we're looking for. The final velocity is going to be zero meters per second, because if you conceptualize that it's going up and then it's slowing down, then it comes up and then it's gonna stop right here and then it's gonna start to fall backwards again and then come all the way down. The final velocity right here at the top for the first half is the zero meters per second. The delta y for the push off phase is 0 0.16 meters, but we don't have enough information to complete it. The equation that we'll be using when we get there is v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2a times delta y. We don't have the initial velocity though for us to figure out the acceleration. This will go to zero. So we could move this over and we'll have negative velocity initial squared is equal to 2a delta y. If we divide both sides by 2 delta y, that will give us acceleration is equal to negative vi squared. And it's like this divided by two delta y, but we need the initial velocity. So we have to use the other information, the 2.3 meters to figure out that so we can plug it in here. So let's do that first part then. So the delta y for the top phase to figure out that initial velocity is going to be 2.3 meters. I'm going to use for this, the second half of the, the jumping phase. It will give you the same answer if you do the other side. For me, it just in my head it works better for some reason. The final velocity is what we'll be finding here and the initial velocity is going to be zero. So the equation we'll use for this part is the same one. V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus two times A times delta Y. The initial velocities we just talked about is zero. So V final squared is equal to two A delta Y. We can take the square root of both sides to isolate V final. So V final is equal to the square root of two times the acceleration times delta Y. And now we can plug in our values for this. So V final is going to be equal to the square root of two times the acceleration. And in this case, the only thing that's acting on it when it's in the air is gravity. So we have a negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the delta y. And in this case, since we're looking at it where we're starting at the top and going downward, it will be a negative delta y of negative 2.3 meters. The two negatives will cancel, giving us a positive value for our v final. Square root of 2 times negative 9.8 times a negative times a negative 2.3 gives us 6.714 6.714 meters per second so now this velocity is the initial the initial velocity for this part of the equation the initial velocities that's coming up will be the exact same when it comes down to this point so the velocity right here is the exact same for both. So as I'm going through this, I just caught myself on one problem that I have right here. I said that the initial velocity is what we're trying to plug in here. But if you look at the picture that we drew, what we have is the initial velocity right here it, for this section is going to be zero. So this is actually zero. And then the final velocity is going to be 
right here. And that is what we're plugging in to this spot. So what the equation will actually be, it's the same other than the fact that it will be a positive V final squared because over here, this will remain and we're essentially just get ridding, getting rid of this. So it's V final squared is equal to 2A times delta Y. And then when we do the math, it works out to be the exact same as right here. So we have acceleration is a V final squared over two delta Y. So now when we plug that in, we have 6.714 squared, and that will be divided by two times the delta Y of 0.16 which gives us 140.8. We'll go to two significant figures, so we'll round that to 140 meters per second squared. And they tell us that they want it in meters per second squared and in Gs. So we'll take 140 meters per second squared and we'll divide it by G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. 140 divided by 9.8 will give us 14 G's. 